Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see automate recommendations with workflow automation in Microsoft Defender for Cloud. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logged on to the portal. Let me just uh, go to Defender for Cloud. Okay, now I'll go to the environment settings. This is my management group. This is my subscription. And I'll make sure that all the Defender plans are turned on. Like this. All of them are on. Continue. I'll hit save. Okay, now every security program includes multiple workflows for incident response. So these processes might include notifying relevant stakeholders, launching a change management process and applying specific remediation steps. Using workflow automation, you can trigger logic apps to automate process in real time with Microsoft Defender for Cloud events, which can be security alerts or recommendations. In this lab, we will create a new logic app and then trigger it automatically using workflow automation when there is a change with a specific recommendation. So I'll show you the brief process of doing that, right? So we are here. Now we'll go and search for logic app. Here it is. There are no logic apps. I'll click on add to create one. I get an option to create a logic app. I'll pick up my resource group in which I have deployed all those resources. I'll give the logic app name. I'll do a name here. Send a recommendation changes. I'm sorry for the caps. Publish workflow, a region, plan is, type is consumption, zone redundancy, I'll go for Oh, wait a minute. Let me check one thing here. I'll go for my West US, West Europe. Because I created uh, everything there. Zone redundancy is disabled. Review create. Validating. I'll hit create. Submitting the deployment. Deployment is in progress. So when, when this will be created, I'll go to my resource. It's a logic app designer which gets open because it's a, I'll select the blank logic app. Okay, I'll click on blank logic app. It is searching for connectors. Now at the search control, I will type Microsoft Defender for Cloud. I'll select when a my I'll select when a my when a Microsoft Defender for Cloud recommendation is created or triggered. I'll click on new step. I'll type in outlook.com and wait for a few seconds. And now scroll down the list and we'll 
click on send an email v2 here it is now sign in to create a connection i select my account here it is i'll click on yes creating i'll i'll enter my email address okay i'll add a subject here i'll select the dynamic content box i click on dynamic content and select properties display name i'll do this this the click on add if done and click on the body text and type the following here the following recommendation has been changed you can type in anything like the recommendation description status properties whatever now the logic app look like uh, this so this the click on save it is completed and now we will create a new workflow automation instance right so i'll go back to my uh, microsoft defender for cloud here and i'll click on workflow automation at the bottom it is under management option and now i'll click on add workflow automation a pan would appear on the right side we have to enter the following things name i'll do send recommendation description type in anything send email a be as descriptive as or as you can be if you are doing it on production environment so when a person sees an admin sees he or she should be aware right subscription is this resource group you select this uh, now the trigger conditions select microsoft defender for cloud data type you type in microsoft defender for cloud uh, recommendation recommendation name all recommendation selected make sure these are all selected recommendation state would be should be all states now the action part comes into picture you show the logic app that you have created click on refresh let me do it from here again maybe it took some time i'm trying to create it i don't know all the options are okay but i don't know how this is not coming and if i'm entering the name still it is not picking that up okay 
now it shows so make a note of it while you are creating a workflow automation it may work like a charm for you in one go but if it doesn't copy paste the name enter it here if it doesn't work click on refresh it might work after that okay now click on create it is creating the workflow automation and now every time you can disable the workflow automation as well so the status is enabled you click on it you can set the option to disable as well i am going to see how oh you select it and you click on disable you can disable the workflow automation as well right please be aware that if your trigger is a recommendation that has sub recommendations or nested recommendations the logic app will not trigger for every new security finding only when the status but only for the status of the parent once the automation is automatically triggered you should expect the email messages to look to be in your inbox which would uh, say the following recommendation has been triggered and uh, things like that right so if i click on that i if i run the trigger here now it has successfully checked the trigger and i got an email but there was no recommendation so it just sent an email to me right so as and when the recommendation would be there you would get and you can manually uh check the reason it is not working because if i edit my trigger i click on send an email and if i go to the subject to the body if i hit enter recommend recommendation properties display name dynamic con Tend is add dynamic content properties display name. I don't know why the dynamic content is not coming up. So if I type in, okay, here it comes. So I will do property display name, and second would be. this description i would type it properties metadata description here it is and status would be property status code and the link link to recommendation properties you will do links properties links azure portal uri okay and to i will type my email address so that i can show you the email okay click on save logic app is saved now if i'll do run trigger manual trigger here and if i open my email address and you will receive an email and now if you will go to the microsoft defender for cloud on the overview button you click on community 
this is the community tool you can view all community tools you can look for uh, video learnings defender for cloud on the youtube as well tons of information available <clears throat> for us to deep dive into the microsoft defender for cloud i hope this was informative for all of you guys if you have any further queries please mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day